shot! Shot! Get you out of there. God, Sean, answer me. Don't die on the sun, please. Breathe. Gotta breathe. You were gone. <laughs> Dad, I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Oh. Sean, listen. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I... I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago and... and I'm not dead. <laughs> Ethan! What are you doing here? I did some hunting around. I know who the killer is, Ethan. I can prove your innocence. Congratulations, Ethan. You succeed. You're the father that I have been looking for all these years. The man capable of giving his own life to save his son. You got what you wanted. I finished your trials. Now let us go. I'm afraid that's not possible. Your lady friend knows my little secret. I don't intend to end my days in prison. I'm going to have to kill you both. I'm sorry. You earned my respect. <sighs> Ethan! 
There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us.
Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling and, uh... Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. 